Hey, I'm Matt DeBlass, uh, talking about Baron some more, and today again talking about Baron tippers. So I uh, mostly have been, most of the time I've been playing, been playing a heavier goatskin drum and using a fatter, um, basically a fat dowel type tipper um, with a bit of a broader end, but I've recently been playing on this Finnegan Hill uh, drum with a clear calfskin head. It's a little more modern style, it's got a lighter head more flexible and it works well with a lighter tipper. And so I've been using for a lot of it um, the, the bundle of rods type tipper. Which is cool. But I also tried using kind of a I mean, stick type tippers and stuff like that. And the fatter tippers I used on my other drums don't sound quite the same. So I had a few basic rod type tippers, some drumstick end ones, like this one from Falcon Wood that's a drumstick end. But I wanted more of the traditional double-ended, rounded end tipper that I use on the other drums sometimes. See if I could use that also on this type of drum. So I got these from Mod Rand's uh, drum bar on tippers on Etsy. These are his ergonomic tippers. This is a nine and a half inch oak. And this is a 10 inch Spectraply, which is a laminated wood with some colors, which you can kind of see in there. Super cool. And this one has, and the thing with the, well, the thing with the modern tippers, they have this ergonomic kind of thumb notch, which lets you uh, grip them loosely without them sliding back and forth. This one on the oak one is centered, and on the Spectraply one is off centered. So when you hold it, this one you hold it, you know, kind of near the middle. So you can play it this the kind of very traditional style. Or this one you hold a little bit off center, like the kind of uh, two thirds of the way up grip, which I've been using a lot more because I also I've been mixing um, single ended rolls with the double ended triplets a lot which has kind of made me shift my grip a little bit up the uh, from the center of the thing. And this one having the offset grip works well for that. And they've got, you know, fairly narrow shaft, bulbous round end, uh, not an extreme ball end like some of them, the other ones that I showed you when I talked about tippers, but just rounded enough, which I kind of like because it's a little bit rounder than the straight stick tippers, but not extremely so, so. So I think it works really well. Um, the notch on it is kind of interesting because it, not only does it help you grip loosely and not slip back and forth, but when you grab the, the thing, it automatically kind of cocks it at a bit of an angle. And you have to kind of watch, you might be inclined to cock your wrist in, which I generally don't do. So watch where your elbow is, is what I'm saying. So what do I think of them? Well, they're well made. They're made by a fellow named Ken Larson in Portland, Oregon. And he sells them on eBay under the, uh, the name Modran Tipper. So spelled like Bodran, Bodran, Malron. Uh, right. So spelled like Balron, but with an M. So like modern Balron. So M O D H R A N. Uh, and you can get them on Etsy. They tend to run around $20 each. Um, so this one, the oak one, works pretty well on the, the thin calfskin drum. I tried down the goatskin drums and it kind of was kind of tippy tappy. I don't think it had a, quite enough weight or enough uh, of a roundness to the end to get a, a fuller sound on the heavier skin. It works really well on this. Um, this one, the Spectre Ply one, it's in addition to being a little bit heavier and a little bit longer, being offset, gives you a little more snap to the playing. So 
that works really well for the type of playing that I'm doing. Um, I would probably, if I brought this drum to a session of playing more traditional stuff, I'd probably use the oak one. works really well for that traditional double-ended uh, carry style, some people call it that style of playing. For the what I actually do when I play with groups or some of my solo stuff, I think I'll end up using this one a little bit more often. So overall, you know, bass sound. Hops. Bends. single-ended rolls. And double-ended rolls. So, um, I don't know. I don't really do product recommendations or reviews per se, but I tried them out. I like them a lot. Uh, they're not super expensive. They're made in the U.S. And uh, they're well made and sturdy. They've got the, the logo. I don't know if you can see it etched right here. Um, smooth finish. Smells of uh, what I believe are linseed oil. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like them. I will, you'll probably see me using this one a lot. You might see me using this one a bit, especially when I'm playing this particular drum. Um, if I'm not using the, the rod beater, I'll probably go for one of these. And that's uh, my review, I guess.